News 8 has confirmed an environmental investigation was underway by the Webster Central School District, specifically at Willink Middle School. Teachers and students reported that investigators had been seen at the school. What they were testing for, however, wasn't clear. Many of you have contacted us with questions, and today Gina McBride provides those answers. Environmental testing is something the Webster Central School District calls a routine. Investigators check water and air quality along with radon and soil testing. This testing was supposed to happen in May at Willink Middle School. But why did it happen before winter break? Webster Superintendent Carmen Gavina says there's a reason the timeline for testing was expedited. One of our teachers had passed away. One of our teachers that worked at Willink had passed away just before school started. And um, some of the teachers um, were were very upset. I mean, he's a he was a legend within within Willing. That teacher was Chris Barnes, who lost his battle with colon cancer. Superintendent Gamina says some teachers at Willing came forward to the administration and inquired about environmental testing to make sure that there was nothing going on in the building that perhaps led to that illness. No, I, I don't. I think all 11 of our buildings are very safe for staff and and for students. Um, but again, I think this was that decision of. Um, trying to help a community within Willink, within Willink Middle School, trying to help their minds um, feel at ease um, and, also, um, and also help them through a grieving process as well. So that's why, you know what, let's move up the testing because it just made sense. The Webster District did not notify parents when the environmental testing began a few weeks ago. It wasn't until a couple of days ago when Gamina told the Willink PTSA about the testing. So I asked why they weren't told sooner or why parents weren't originally notified. Part of me doesn't want to panic any, you know, panic um, a community or a, uh, a parent community um, and, um, and then the other piece was this is this is routine testing that we typically do. For Dina Shaw, who has a student at Willink Middle School, understands the district's concerns and says she's glad the school district has taken these steps. She just hopes for complete transparency in the future. I would hope that they would keep us in the loop and let us know what the results are. And if they are, um, you know, positive or negative for these types of things, I hope that somebody steps in and does something. The superintendent also told me when the results come back in about four to eight weeks, he said that parents, staff, and the school board will be notified of the results. Also, about 4 p.m., the Webster Central School District did send out a note to Willing Middle School families. It's this one right here, notifying them about the environmental testing and the reasoning behind it. Maureen. All right, interesting. Thank you, Jeannie. News 8 did speak with the family of Chris Barnes, who told us the school building had nothing to do with his cancer. And the superintendent wants to reiterate this testing is done to ease the minds of staff at Willink Middle School.